guys what's the first thing that comes to your mind the first time you hear the word rail trains right so guys we're here at the nairobi railway museum in nairobi kenya the Nairobi Railway Museum was opened in 1971 by East Africa Railway Corporation. It provides answers to many unanswered questions concerning the early history of the rail and Kenya's development. Nairobi Railway Museum consists of the main gallery, the resource center, the auditorium, and an outdoor collection of locomotives, wagons, and coaches. As you tour the art gallery, there is a yellowed newsprint ad announcing a cash bounty of a hundred pounds for the capture of a pair of manless lions, the so-called man-eaters. It is estimated that the lions killed at least 140 workers who were part of the railway line construction team around Savo area in the year 1898, hence are called the man-eating lions. Inside the gallery, we came across the chair that the Queen Mother sat on in 1959 on her royal tour and it's believed that if any woman sits on it, she will be blessed with good luck. So we go to Wanjira Hassan. Where? Me, Kanza, I've got massive of experiences. Yeah. Let me tell you, like I've experienced traveling with these old trains for like uh five years of my life five five years of my life like oh. this year next year the other like because my dad used to force us so fast the previous night before we traveled my mom used to cook because we used to travel at she used to cook and then we would carry uh, our sleeping atagias our sheets our duvets our blankets now we would go and book third class up to class five i've never cooked me the rest me i won't say that but <laughs> my mom used to call me, but now we would come pay and then we would stand here the train to book nice seats where we can fit. It was my yeah. my mom, my dad, or sometimes we would leave my dad, my sister, my cousin, and I. And then we would, we would uh, spread our mattresses, we used to carry mattresses, and where? then sleep. And then where do you spread? Then here, this yeah, yeah, no, place. You know, this is second class. This first second class. class, it's like the space that no, not these things as they used to be. Okay. In first class, so third class, third class, third class, 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 class. Yeah, yeah, third class. And then there were so many people. Yeah, so we used to okay. sleep, yeah. eat. It was fun. And then now the best part was in, in the morning at about ten a.m. Mm -hmm. Because now the journey was like it was like the train was moving like this. We would. It was fun because now the windows are open. We would yeah. just check out animals. Wait, like yes, there were elephants. Tanyans. Yes, they were testing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Scariest part. The washrooms. I've never gone for a long call to a washroom. <laughs> you go to a washroom and then you see the ground. <laughs> yeah, you are poopy. <laughs> they will take you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is what it is. I mean, very amazing. The museum has maintained its rail connection. This allows for the efficient movement of museum exhibits for maintenance and placing items in the collection. It also shows some of the famous people it carried and the miniature models of the trains that were used among other things. The museum also includes early diesel locomotives and passenger coaches. It's the rail that developed Kenya to the country it is now, where we have a standard gauge railway passenger train, the Madaraka Express. The Madaraka Express was completed in October 2016 and began operating in June 2017. So guys, check out our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Johnny Kenya254, and let's meet on our next episode. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,